if you've been out of scouting for a while, how do you rejoin the Order of the Arrow? Scouter Stan, I want to talk about rejoining the... Wait a minute, got to change my, my appearance, right? There we go. So much better. I feel like Order of the Arrow. Let's talk a little bit about the Order of the Arrow. A lot of scouters that were in scouting as a youth were members of the Order of the Arrow. Now that they're back into scouting, they've joined Cub Scouts or they've joined into a troop, uh, what have you, they want to get back in to rejoining the Order. Now the first place to really start this process is to contact your local chapter. Now lodges, chapters, lodges are controlled through the council. Okay, The council actually works with the lodge and the lodge works with all the districts and those districts usually all have chapters. So the best place to really start would be to make a phone call to the council office, wherever you are. Find out what lodge is operating for that council. In super rare cases, there are lodges, there's like two lodges, so it depends on where you live within that council. So that's something you need to work out. Find out from the service center what information you need to provide. Normally, you would have a card or something, but if you've lost all of that, and I know people that have that were heavily involved in the Order of the Arrow, and they lost all their 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 plaques and their cards and all that stuff. So, they there's only two levels: that's ordeal and brotherhood. So that's the two levels they need to to define. Okay, uh, there is a third level called vigil, but that's that's something else. And you know what? I'm going to put a video up there. And you go to that video and it'll tell you a little more about all the different levels and stuff that's going on in the order. If that's not familiar, then you might as well <laughs> go to an ordeal. Uh, so that's that, you know, that's one of those things you gotta, you know, you gotta know those things. Now, <laughs> a lot of times, once you've been in the order, okay, so it'll really, you know, a scout is trustworthy, so we're going to believe what you tell the council office and the lodge and put you in at that level. It's nothing more than just paying your dues for that year. So that starts that process. When I was in scouting as a youth, I was an ordeal member in Wisconsin, okay? Makajuan was the where I did my ordeal. And because it was, there's a separation of almost 20 years between my ordeal and my brotherhood. So there was a little bit of confusion, okay? And that particular lodge had gone in and out, and the records weren't there. So when I rejoined Tippesaw, where I live in Central Florida, they were able to just say, okay, you're an ordeal member, that's fine. You know, they, I paid my dues and I did my stuff and I and I went through that process. But then I was able to do my brotherhood and, and seal the membership, even though there was a 20-year difference. Now, once you rejoin your new lodge, you want to make sure that you commit to at least doing 50% of the stuff they offer. Now, usually a lodge that's doing a lot of activities will have four or five or more activities every single year. In addition to that, your chapter will probably have a monthly meeting. So I recommend that if you're going to get back involved with scouting and get back involved in the order of the arrow to commit to do at least 50% of whatever they are actively doing. I'd like 100%, ain't gonna happen. That's the thing. The order does not take precedence over your own unit. Your own unit is your primary concern. The order is there for uh, cheerful service, okay? So getting back involved in that is important, but not as important as your unit. And like I said, if you're an ordeal member 
and you're getting back into it. That is very common. That happens all the time, okay? Or deal membership, They back in my day, they did not focus on getting you into brotherhood like they do today. They want you to go through your ordeal, give service to your unit, and then come back for the brotherhood. That's that second level with the little bars on the on the new sash. So that's important. So doing that is 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 critical to getting back involved in the Order of the Arrow. Now the Order of the Arrow is a, a brotherhood of cheerful service. And in that vein, let's do our dad joke, our leader joke, that you can give other scouts. And here it is. What did the oceans say? to the beach. Nothing. It just waved. I know. It's, some of these are painful. <laughs> okay. But we gotta, you know, come on. It, we have a good time in scouting. And these are scout appropriate jokes. So definitely give them out there and uh, get more involved. Keep doing the hard work you do. Get involved in the order of the arrow. I know you'll have a good time. Until next time, I will see you on the trail.